Hi, thank you for, um, well, um, excuse me. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. I'm Kenata, the architect. On this channel, we destroy and build simultaneously for there can be no resurrection without destruction. Once again, I'm Kenyatta, but you will refer to me as Queen, Goddess, Empress, the High, high I mean, High Priestess, Ma'am, okay? Or whatever I tell you to refer to me as. I have no enemies, loving goodwill, taking care of within, eliminates that without. If God is the creator of both the good and the evil, then God has, God has no enemies. Ye are gods. I will not tolerate anyone being disrespectful or common or... Um, um, attacking me or bullying me on my platform or anyone who genuinely supports me all right all right this is going to be a reading for gemini for february 2024 gemini february 2024 just a general reading for gemini february 2024 let me see how many shuffles one more shuffle and then gemini we will get in to it. All right, let's get into it. Here we have the tower upright. Okay, Queen of Cups here in reverse. The world card upright. Two of Pentacles in reverse. And here we have the Prince of Cups in reverse. Gemini, Gemini, I feel like um something is, I'm hearing uh, falling apart to come together. Okay, a great building in your life has occurred or is occurring or it's, it's going to be occurring in Gemini. I feel like you've been through a lot. A lot of heaviness I'm hearing, a lot of heartache, a lot of heartbreak. Okay, there have been a lot of people, okay, or situations, whatever, to break your heart. But now's the time I'm hearing, Gemini. I'm hearing something about reward, okay? You're going to be rewarded for your efforts because I feel like, Gemini, you put in a lot of hard work, okay? I don't know what 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 is about necessarily. I don't know if it has something to do with the heartbreak. Or whatever it is that you have, have have experienced, but that is coming to an end. Okay. Yes, I just I feel like you have experienced some harshness. Okay, someone or some some ones or something in life has been very harsh to you, and I'm hearing, and you did not deserve it. Okay, but now once again, this time is coming to an end, and you're going to find balance again, Gemini. Okay, you might this may even have something to do with love. Okay, it might be love of self, it might be just in relationships, just generally with people, or it might be romantic love. But it it looks like you know, it almost looks like Cupid Arrow is about to you know, um, you know shoot you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You're about to be shot with Cucubit's arrow here, okay? I just feel like there's going to be some kind of great change or great transformation to take place. The harshness that you have dealt with, Gemini, is coming to an end. You are about to... Ex it's just been like, you know, with this first card, this tower card is all dark and grim and glum. And here in this last card, um, this Prince of Cups, it just looks all, you know, bright and lovely, the beautiful blue sky. You're going from that to that. You're going from this dark, harsh world and realm that you have uh, experienced and been experiencing and going to something that is just going to be completely trans transformative okay light and beautiful okay you know the beautiful clouds the white clouds and etc 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 okay love is coming into your life now i do see some roses here you know roses have thorns okay so we're not going to say that there's not going to be some you know negative we can't you, you have positive you're going to have negative okay but i don't feel it's going to be this like this harsh environment okay that you have experienced in the past let's continue on here we have the six of cups in reverse gemini okay four of swords upright for gemini right three of wands upright and here we have the king of cups in reverse gemini Okay, yeah, this is some past stuff, stuff from your past, possibly your childhood, okay? But nevertheless, I, I don't feel like you have a whole lot of positive memories, okay, from this time period. Obviously not, okay, if it was harsh, okay? I feel like, though, it maybe it puts you in a time, of, a place of, you know, contemplating about who you are and what it is that you really want. Do I really want, I feel like it has something to do with love, but again, it could just be, you know, not necessarily romantic love, just, you know, just relationships, period, or just contemplating life. It may not have to do with relationships at all. Just contemplating life about, look what has happened to me, look at what I've dealt with, look at the harsh realities of my life okay i feel like you got to a place i'm not saying you were always thinking like this but maybe recently you just got to a place or maybe within the last couple of years or so okay where you just been sitting back looking like you know what is this 
okay? You know, there's, there's something that I want for myself. Okay. I want a happy life. I don't want this harsh, cold, you know, type of reality that I have dealt with in the past. All right. All right. And it might have even, you know, made you kind of harsh and cold. Okay. Harsh and cold to you. You know, you might might be one of those people who, you know, dealt with such harshness that you became cynical about life. Okay. That you became cynical, you know, about love. Okay. And once again, I'm not talking about romantic love. Okay. We're just talking about love. I feel like you might have become cynical about it. It might have been kind of harsh. You know, the harshness that you received is the harshness that you possibly were giving out. Let's continue on. We have the Prince of Swords upright okay three of cups here in reverse and here we have the seven of wands upright mm. wow i feel gemini mm. okay i feel like you know um it's kind of unfortunate <laughs> i feel like you've been played with a lot Okay, uh, this environment, this harsh reality that you lived, okay, in your past, okay, uh, you know, I don't, I, I can't say why, okay, maybe it was family, maybe the environment that you uh, grew up in, maybe everybody was like that with one another, it was just kind of par for the course, okay, but um, You've been played with a lot, fooled a lot, manipulated a lot. Just, I just don't feel like you may not have even had really had real friends, okay? People that were, you know, genuine here. And I feel like it put you in this like defensive mode, okay? Very defensive, okay? And I feel and 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 harsh, but I feel like it, it, it was your way of saving yourself. Okay, uh, here we have the Two of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Cups upright, okay? And here we have the Moon card here in reverse, yeah. Like I said, I don't feel as though you ever really had, you know, true friendship, okay? Um, maybe this, you are walking away from... Uh, you know, because you, you grow up with this kind of, kind of thing and, and it just becomes your life. You just kind of stick with it, you know, and sometimes a person can get like, you know, by sitting back, looking and thinking and contemplating like we saw with the four swords, you know, like there's more to life than this. There's got to be. You know, um, everyone is not harsh and mean and cold and hateful towards one another and saying that they're friends and all of this type of thing. OK, I see others, OK, who have nice, loving environments and a nice life. This is what I want. And I feel as though you might be walking away or you have walked away from um, maybe everything that you've always known. OK, you know, again, this type of environment, whether it's in your family, in your neighborhood, your whatever kind of community, OK, that you were a part of. OK, and I, I feel like you have gone on some kind of um, or going on some kind of, you know, made self-discovery. I want to find myself. I want the truth. And you might even be uh looking into if this is your family or your community, you might even be doing some kind of in a way, I want to say research. I don't mean like you're opening a book or anything like that or going to the library or Googling. You might, okay, try to get an understanding of your environment, okay? Um, but you might be asking questions, you know. You might be looking, say it's your family, looking into your family history, okay, to get, you know, I want to understand, you know, why is this like this? Why is our home like this? Why, you know, do we have to be like this? Do we have to stay like this? I want to do something different. I'm hearing I want to do something grander. I want to do something greater. You know, I refuse to accept this. And look what we have from the Inner Garden Oracle here. Clarity. Okay. You want some clarity. Of course, the um, stone here is the diamond. Don't worry what others think of you, Gemini. All right. So I certainly hope that was helpful. All right. I thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel. All right. And um, you all have favor. Peace.